There is a common saying that the bad workman blames his tools. Now Excel is such a popular tool that it really gets a lot of blame, when actually it's the person who's using Excel who's really at fault. However, sometimes, just sometimes, in the right circumstances, Excel can calculate the wrong result. And that's what we're looking at in this video. The much quoted statistic is that 80% of spreadsheets contain errors. Therefore, it's not uncommon to find an error inside an Excel workbook. Actually, it's more common than not. However, all of those errors that are being referred to there are 100% caused by humans. Let's face it, spreadsheets can be complex, but they don't go through the same rigorous testing as other software. Generally, these errors fall into three types. We have logical errors, which are caused by the individual not fully understanding the situation and therefore choosing the wrong formula or solution. We have omission errors, which are caused by cells and ranges accidentally being excluded from formulas. And we also have mechanical errors. They're caused by data inaccuracy or input and typing errors. But there's one other type of error, and that's where Excel calculates the wrong result all by itself. Let's take a look at a scenario. Okay, in this scenario, we have a lookup value of 20.4, and we want to look up that value from cells B5 to B7, and then return the equivalent value from cells C5 to C7. For this, I'm going to use a VLOOKUP function. I'm aware that others are available, but this is the one that most of us probably understand. So equals VLOOKUP, open bracket, I'll select cell F5, I'll then enter a comma, select those values, enter another comma. I want the value returned from column two, and I want an exact match lookup. So I'll enter false. Close that bracket and press return. And as you can see, it has returned the value Bravo, which is exactly what we would expect. Okay, now time for scenario number two. I've got the same lookup value. I've got the same table of data. And now I'm going to enter the same formula. Equals VLOOKUP, open bracket. I'll select cell F5. Then I'll select cells B5 to C7. I want the second column and I want an exact match. So false, I'll close that bracket, press return. This time I get a hash NA error. It appears to be exactly the same, the same lookup value, the same data, the same formula, yet a different result. How is that possible? Well, this proves that Excel can sometimes calculate the wrong result. Now, in all honesty, there is a slight difference between these two worksheets. So for example, scenario one, we can see in cell B5, it says 20.3, in cell B6, it says 20.4, and in cell B7, it says 20.5. However, when we come across to scenario two, while cell B5 is identical, B6 is actually a calculation of B5 plus 0.1 and that's the same for cell B7. This is not just an issue with VLOOKUP. The same problem occurs with XLOOKUP and also index match. Now you might be thinking, it's not really that big a problem. It just returns an error. We can do something about that. However, let's suggest rather than just returning the words Alpha, Bravo or Charlie, it was used to calculate the bonus that you received for the year. And we can see that here in scenario three. So we have our values in column B and then the bonus that you'll receive in column C. Now let's suggest that we don't use an exact match, but instead we use an approximate match. So I'll change that last argument to true. I'll press return. And that means that your bonus would be zero. Even though the lookup value is 20.4 and you deserved a bonus of 10,000 pounds, the value that is returned is zero. Okay, I guess you're wondering, why does Excel have this issue of calculating different results for the same calculation? Well, let's think back to school. We're taught that some numbers cannot be expressed as decimals. For example, one third cannot be expressed as a decimal. 
it's 0.33333 recurring into infinity. Therefore, instead, we might just use 0.33 as a close estimate. We fully accept that 0.33 does not equal a third. We deem the difference to be insignificant. Computers calculate numbers using binary. In the background, there is a conversion that takes place to change the binary to a decimal so that we humans can understand it. It's much easier for us to understand a decimal value of 237 than it is to understand an equivalent binary value of 11101101. Every whole number can be converted from binary to decimal perfectly, but this isn't true for every decimal floating point number. So taking an example of one tenth, that is easily expressed in a decimal as 0.1 but the binary value for that is much longer. And it also is a number that recurs into infinity. So just as we cannot write one third in decimals, one tenth cannot be stored in binary. Computers have a finite amount of storage. Therefore, they cannot store an infinite number. In addition, Excel has been programmed to calculate accuracy to 15 digits of precision. As a result, Excel can never correctly calculate 0.1. Okay, so heading back to scenario two, if I selected our cells there and then viewed those values within Power Query, selecting that exact value, you would see that the number is not 20.4, but actually it's 20.4, lots of zeros, and then a two. So it's exceptionally close to 20.4, but it's not exactly 20.4. But wait, take a few seconds to calculate the number of digits of precision. That's not 15 digits, as Microsoft claims in their specifications, but it's 17 digits. So that means this calculation would be accurate to 15 digits, but not to 17 digits. Right, let me close Power Query, and then we'll try something else. Over here in cell B3, I'm going to enter the value 20.4. And in cell C3 equals 20.3 plus 0.1. And then in cell D3, I'm just going to check whether those values are equal to each other. We've seen that 20.3 plus 0.1 is not exactly equal to 20.4. But when I press return, it says true. It says those numbers are exactly the same. So we can conclude from this that sometimes Excel calculates to 15 digits of precision and other times it calculates to 17 digits of precision. And just to be clear, 0.1 is not the only number that has this issue. There are loads of them, but 0.1 is probably the easiest to explain. If it's a known issue, why don't Microsoft just fix the problem? Well, unfortunately, it's not that simple. In 1985, the Institute for Electrical and Electronics Engineers issued standard IEEE 754, which deal with how computers perform floating point arithmetic. Excel is designed in line with these standards, apart from a few amendments to deal with infinite numbers. Therefore, Excel, like thousands of other pieces of software, use this approach, which means it's not necessarily Excel that's at fault. It's not the standard that's at fault either. It's just the complex world of mathematics and computing that we live in. And Microsoft are even open about the fact that there is an issue here. They have a document which tells us about this issue, but I'm guessing 99.9% .9 of us haven't actually read it. How can we avoid this problem? Well, Microsoft gives us two solutions. Firstly, using the round function, and secondly, using precision as displayed. So option one, the round function, what we could do is come into here, put that as a round function to one decimal place, close that bracket, press return. And as you can see, that formula now calculates correctly. Just press Control Z to undo that. The second option that Microsoft suggests is using precision as displayed. To do this, 
I can go File, and then to Options. From the Advanced section, I can scroll down and find the options that relate to when calculating this workbook. From there, we can select the Set Precision as displayed. Now this tells us that data will permanently lose accuracy because what Excel will do will automatically round all of the values to their displayed precision. Therefore, it's a good idea to make sure that you have a backup before taking this decision because it is destructive. It will permanently change those values. So therefore, I don't recommend this solution. I recommend you use the round function, but for illustration purposes, I'll click OK and then OK. And as you can see, our formula now calculates correctly. So in summary, due to the complexity of calculating floating point numbers, not all decimals can be converted to binary. As a result, Excel, along with thousands of other pieces of software, can calculate the wrong result. But hopefully you've seen in this video that we have two solutions that we can potentially implement to help us get around this issue. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you next time.